Welcome to Naresh I Technologies. Uh, this is Ram Chandar. In the last video, I did talk about what is a cloning. Cloning means creating a new object with the help of uh, existing object state is called cloning. So, before going to learn about the cloning, I did introduce one program that is uh, this one only. When uh, if you want to create a duplicate data within the new object, I used this type of program, but in this program there is a one drawback what is that both obj1 and obj pointing to same memory. So, here I am taking two memories, but pointing to same here I am taking two references, but both references are pointing to what same memory, but my requirement is I want to create a new memory in that new memory I want to place my existing object state. For that purpose we are going to be use one uh, method that is clone that is what clone method ok. Now, observe here let me take one uh, notepad in the notepad I am taking one uh, class like uh, b this is also a very basic program to understand about a cloning concept. Here I have some variables like int a equal to triple 1 and int b equal to what triple 2. Now, again I am writing like public static void main string array s. Now, here I am creating an object for b class yes new b obj equal to new b and after that uh, I am creating I am printing the data obj dot obj information yes now obj dot a and obj dot b this is my content I am saving this file on top of uh, desktop b dot java and save it. So, this is my b dot java file. So, what I am doing just I am comparing my program already I have command prompt here yes java c java c b dot java java c b dot java yes and java b successfully compile and execute a sample program not a uh, big issue in this this. Now, object here my requirement is I want to provide new memory in that new memory I want to place existing content. Now, observe here I am doing some modification obj a equal to triple 1 and obj b equal to what uh, triple 2 already we have this uh, content. So, let me take a uh, triple 8 and as well as what triple n for more clarity. Now, I am copy this code and here I am pasting. Now, observe what happened. Here again I am compiling the program java c b dot java and java b. We are getting output like triple 1 and triple 2. So, let me save this one saving problem. Let me execute again java c b dot java let me compile and uh, yes there is a proper problem what is that yes unless I am writing yes one extra character java c b dot java and uh, java b yes. So, old data will be replaced with uh, new data. So, this is entirely belongs to obj only. Now, assume if you want to create a new object if you want to create new object with the help of new keyword with the help of new keyword then in this particular time what happen now observe guys everybody obj1 here obj1 it is also what uh, obj1 now java c b dot java and java b now, what happen observe if I am creating a new object with the help of the new keyword already we learn 
to creating an object in Java language, we have a lot of ways. The first one and easiest one is what a new keyword. So, if you are creating an object with the help of the new keyword, what happen? We are getting um, previous, previous is means what oh, old data. I want to get updated, updated data which is existed in where obj object which is existed in where obj object then we should go for concept like uh, cloning obj2 obj2 and object here let me write like this obj creating creating new object clone method will creating new object means nothing but providing new memory in the new memory what it will doing it will placing obj information nothing but obj state nothing but simply we can say whatever the data which we have in the obj the data will be placed into some other memory now clone method always giving the data in the format of what uh, object type so internally it will doing upcasting that upcasting data is giving by the clone method now object here clone method will throwing one exception that is what uh, clone not supported exception and also there is one more rule if you want to do the cloning our class must and should be implements what clonable interface now observe here let me show you intentionally i am not writing those things to showing the exceptions only i am now i am compiling this program java c b dot java now yes unreported exception clone not supported exception so clone method is throwing one checked exception either we can write uh, we can overcome those checked exception by using the throw skyward or try and catch block here just i'm throwing clone not supported clone not supported exception yes now let me compile one more time now in this time it will giving one more exception in this time it will giving one more exception uh, that is what uh, checked exception unchecked exception unchecked exceptions always coming at what uh, runtime now java now java b yes what is that clone not supported exception again so why again uh, i am getting clone not supported exception in the runtime very simple guys every data jvm is not uh, providing the permissions to participate in the cloning for every data so if jvm provides the permissions to the object to participate in the cloning first uh, first we need to implements we means what that object must and should be implements clonable interface if the object is implements a clonable interface then only jvm will provide the permissions to participate in the cloning so observe here clonable implements implements clonable yes now java c b dot java now java b now what i am getting data is uh, object is created but i am not printing now what happen here the data is coming in the format of what uh, object type so if you want to interact with the b memory or b data definitely what should i do i can go for uh, down casting and after that what i'm doing very simple and i'm printing obj2 information this is obj2 information obj2 dot a and obj2 dot b now object here so again i'm compiling the program if you are doing any modification we need to compile as well as we need to execute so by seeing the uh, by seeing this output we can easily recognize previously if you am using the new keyword if i am using the new keyword what happened we are getting old data common data i am getting but here what i am getting if i am doing the cloning i am getting what here triple eight triple nine already triple eight triple nine is available in the where obj whatever the data which we have in the obj the data is coming to where here obj2 now observe here let me check let me check the hash codes of obj and obj2 both are pointing to same memory are different memory by understanding this hash codes by understanding this hash codes yes 
this is uh, obj2 this is obj only and this is what here obj2 let me save it now let me clear all the screen and java c b dot java as well as uh, java b now observe guys what i am getting S different output or same output different output nothing but different memory locations or same memory locations different memory location that means that means obj2 obj2 is pointing to some different memory and obj is pointing to some other memory but what about the state state is common state is uh, common what is the state of uh, what is the state of obj triple eight triple nine what is the state of obj2 triple eight triple nine that means cloning means creating new memory location with existing object state creating new memory or creating new object here means what obj2 we are creating obj2 with the help of what obj state this is what exactly cloning mainly in the real time to get the backup purpose we are always using the clone concept and uh, instead of doing some uh, uh, conditions instead of doing some uh, some extra operations on top of the existing data i want to do some extra operations on uh, data assume i have some data like triple uh, 1 and triple 2 and if i am doing the modification directly on triple 1 triple 2 on within the one memory if the data is changes again we are not getting the previous data but what my required i want to do some operations on the existing data but not in original data i want to use one dummy data duplicate data then we should go for what cloning so in the real time in the real time mainly cloning is used for backup purpose and second one is directly doing some operations on top of the original data if you want to do some operations on dummy data again we can go for what cloning in this uh, video i am highlighting only programmatically i am not giving any uh, diagrammatic representation in the next video i am going to be highlighting this program again and i will give the diagrammatical representation of this program yes i hope you enjoyed this video for more videos please subscribe naresh it technology channel thank you